Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a pant to show you and I've just recently participated in a pattern test for Love Notions. Um, I'm on their like testing group. So every now and then I test a pattern when I can. So Tammy had been announcing the duet trouser pattern for quite a while. Um, I already was familiar with the line drawings and the, and the style of the trouser. And so I was very tempted to give woven pants a go. Now I'll insert some line drawings. Um, this trouser comes with two views, um, a straight leg and a tapered leg. It's got front pockets, it's got a curved waistband and a side zipper on the left. Um, it's designed to be made with knits or wovens, wovens, um, sort of like medium weight drapey suiting fabric sort of thing and knits the more medium stable weight knits. I wanted to challenge myself to get a good fit on trousers with a woven because I haven't done this in a while and I think many sewers can relate. <laughs> we sort of specialize on our top half and we become specialists in our cup size and everything about our top half and I'm one of them. I mean any day I'll be quite happy and confident to make a jacket, a blazer, a blouse, a dress, you know. And skirts, of course, skirts are so easy. But pants is something that is not easy to achieve. Um, I don't think anyone's entitled to feel that they're gonna make a pattern and it's gonna fit them straight out of the printer or envelope, you know. Uh, we are built so differently and though we might have a certain circumference that might be the same with other people in the waist and hips, <clears throat> Our bone structure, the way um, our little fatty deposits are sort of distributed around our lower half is so different, you know. So I wanted to try and, and, and try to get a good fit on a woven because woven for me in the fit is way more absolute than a knit. The pants come in sizes uh, US 2 to 26 and that will take you from a hip of 35 to 55 and a half. So the size, size range is quite big. And the other thing that Tammy always includes is like a, a, a sketch sort of thing of what the intended ease or fit is supposed to be for the design. So you can see, and I'm inserting here, that this is not meant to be a fitted skinny pant. It's not meant to cup your derriere. <laughs> <laughs> it basically it's, it's meant to be fitted around the hips and then sort of just fall and drape down so it's not supposed to like cup at the back like tight tight pants or, or you know skinny jeans would so having that clear for me made it much easier to to know what the expectations of fit were going to be included with the pants pattern when you purchase it is a workbook on how to custom fit your duet trousers you know and the information there is really valuable because they, it covers a, a long list of things that you might find that are not fitting when you make any pants really and it's all got to do with individual anatomic uh, differences that we all have so um, I'm going to insert a, a picture here and I'll read to you the list of the things the book includes on tips of how to adjust your pant to fit you um, so basically it covers rise depth, crotch length, round pubis, flat pubis, knock knees, large, smaller, high hip, tall, uh, low seat, flat seat, sway back, cylindrical lower torso. So there's lots of little individual things that you might have with your pants in your feeding process that this workbook helps you sort out. Now, what about me? What did I do? <laughs> um, I'm going to insert a picture here, a, a size chart. Um, if I would have looked at body measurements and I initially was going to make a size 16, I ended up based on the finished garment measurements and the ease that I wanted because ease is super personal. Um, someone might feel way more comfortable with more ease and that same ease can make someone else feel really uncomfortable So I think ease is always like a personal preference So guiding myself on the ease I wanted for my pants. I chose the size 14 size 14 um, Gave me a hip uh, finish garment measurement of 45 and a half inches uh, My hips are 44. I thought one and a half inches of ease around my hips was plenty for the ease that I like. Now this pattern also does not give you a waist measurement to guide yourself uh, from because the pants do not reach your natural waist, you know, your natural waist up here. 
Um, they are intended to fall a few inches below that around the belly button and I find that pants that reach that high hip height sometimes way more comfortable than the ones that are all the way up up I'm not a fan of the extreme high-waisted things you know either in skirts or pants so that's why in the sizing chart you see a full hip and a high hip um, so that's something to consider and that is the reason why there's no waist measurement there I am now going to insert a three and something minute clip of what I documented of the process of getting the, the pants to fit. Now there are some images I chose to leave out because you no know, one wants to see all the wedgies and, and all that sort of stuff. But I did show you, I did show you that, but not the worst of the pictures, you know? Anyway. Let's go ahead now and watch what my process was from test garment, couple of twirls to my final pants. So I started by making my first test pair of pants. The initial pattern just had a 3.8 seam allowance so there wasn't much wiggle room. I think I chose my size correctly. I ch chose a 14 and circumference wise everything was fitting fine, the waist, the hips. The problem was the smiles I was getting on the front and the wedgie and like weird lines I was getting on the back. Um, I was able to assess and find out that I needed to do a four seat adjustment a little bit at the back and um, also adjust the front crotch length and the back crotch length because apparently I have a longer crotch than normal. So I did something controversial. I removed all the seam allowance from the pattern. I measured all around them and worked with a pure pattern. That way I was able to add on a lot of seam allowance, about three, uh, two centimeters. And that allowed me to modify all the crotch curves and lengths and heights, lots of trial and error until I was quite confident. Uh, to make up a new pattern and I decided to make some shorts um, here you can see my pattern on a fabric front and the back I was quite confident these were going to work and I think they did you can see there's a bit of extra width on the legs but these shorts turned out super wearable they fit fine the waist is where it has to be the circumference everything all those wrinkles and things are gone then I decided to go for my fashion fabric just at this stage I chose this really crazy print non-directional I was able to place them one looking up one looking down I was really careful to match up all the crazy patterns and I ended up with some huge green flowers on my butt but that was unavoidable um, yeah so it was quite an experience lots of getting to know about my body all all the things that my body has that I wasn't really aware because I, I hadn't been measuring you know so um, yeah now I know exactly how to assess another future pair of pants to see if they're gonna fit now you can see here my pants are almost done um, I skipped all the constructions quite easy after you've mastered the fit the inseams done the right side seam is done as well. Uh, you can see that front pocket is all one piece. It provides a lot of support. The waistband is already attached on. It's a curved waistband. And the leg, the leg uh, on, the, on the left is all flapping open. And that is the last step basically because that is where the hip goes. So from the waistband down, you attach your zipper and then you continue closing that leg. Um, then you hem it and you stitch in the ditch around the waistband and you are done with the pants. Construction was so, so easy. Now I did try them on after finishing them, you know, um, and I figured I needed to bring them in a little bit more from where my finger is pointing down, uh, all the way down to the bottom and on the inseam as well. I brought them in about half a centimeter each. Now this is just my style how I want them to fit. I think the, the fit is good. I love that pocket in the front. It's so supportive. It feels really good on your tummy. And I think I got the fit that I wanted with these pants. And um, I'll give you a sneak peek of how they look like. Um, this is just me fitting it and feeling really accomplished and good about achieving this because I'd been avoiding it for a long, long time and I'm super glad I did it. So prior to making these pants, did I know my crotch lengths? No, <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, I, 
I usually don't have much problem buying pants, but I'm gonna make a disclaimer. I haven't bought woven pants in years. I, I just always buy like stretch denim jeans and the probabilities of fitting into those are a bit higher because there's the, the stretch factor and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I did measure myself. I got, <laughs> I got some leggings that were like nice and tight fitting, wrapped a ribbon around my waist. Uh, but not my waist. I wrapped it around my belly button area because that's where the pant was intended to fall. I wrapped it around there and I leaned over and measured around and figured out what my front and back crotch length were. Um, now apparently my my crotch length is a bit longer sometimes than other people's and this doesn't have anything to do with the circumference around my waist and hips it's got to do with the length of me and I am 5'8 I am tall I do have long legs and that does play a, a play a factor in 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 the crotch length issues you know um, yeah so I am really aware of my measurements now I have them ingrained I think I can assess a pant pattern now with much more confidence and any anything collards pants jeans and have an idea of whether I need to make a test muslin or just go straight and sew the pattern, you know? So um, I have my pants here. You saw on the little video that the fabric I chose was really, really bright, you know? Um, this is a triple crepe, quite thick crepe with really lovely drape and the print is, you know, <laughs> So um, I didn't want a flower to be around here on the crotch area, on the front especially, so I paid attention to that. Um, but I, en I ended up with flowers on my butt at the back, big green flowers, but uh, who cares, you know. Um, you can see the waist here, it looks wider than it is. It, the, my waist would be up here sort of thing, so it would be a bit higher. So this is really comfortable, it hits right under my belly button, curved waistband, you know how I feel about those. You can't see, but there's darts here at the back. <laughs> and um, I'm going to turn these inside out. Now you've already seen in my, my little video that I showed and the sneak peek fit, you know, that I showed, um, this pocket at the front. Now I've made mine with combined fabric um, because I didn't want to have all the bulk of the main fabric across the pocket. So I have some lining fabric there with a little piece of fabric on the side. But just pretend it's just one piece. So the pocket is under there as well. And this goes all the way across your front. It, it gives you really nice support here on your on your belly, like right under your tummy, <laughs> under your belly button. And I mean, for lots of women, that's a problem area. Um, mine never went back to normal after pregnancy. Even if I've lost a lot of weight, there's always like that feeling that I need some support there. Um, so, I mean, after getting the feet right, the making of the patterns was super, super fast and super easy. They are easy pants to make. Here's my zipper here on the left hip. And, um, yeah, I, I'm very happy with this pattern. Um, I've actually transferred my pattern onto cardboard and that says a lot because I have my top bodice block on cardboard and now I have my pants on uh, cardboard. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Expect me to make a lot of pants based on this pattern and to make variations of this. I can raise up if I wanted more um, high-waisted. Um, the pockets, I can eliminate them or change the shape of them. I can move the zipper to the front, do a fly, fly front zipper or a zip at the back. I can change the width of the legs. I mean, so many possibilities once I've got a really good pattern that fits. So I'm going to show you some pictures now, um, just outside in the backyard. And I have put the pants on and I'm going to try to film on the side here so you can see. Um, I'm never going to tuck anything in so that's why I always have something loose. You can see the feet around the waist is super, like I've got a lot of ease there and that's comfortable for me. I wouldn't want anything tighter than that, you know. Um, here are the pockets. Um, the feet on the bottom is good. 
pan around here as well. I don't have any smiles or drag lines here or anywhere else. And the tapered leg is good. You can see there. I lengthened it by two inches because I'm tall. So yeah, and <laughs> look at the print. I tried to get the flowers, tried to get the flowers to be like on the same side here. And then you can see those big green flowers on my butt, but oh well. So yeah, very comfy, very comfy pad pad. And look at the print there on the waistband. Not that anyone's gonna see that. <laughs> I'm quite happy with these pants. I'm super happy. And I mean, this took took me work. I'm not gonna lie. It took me a lot of work, but I'm very, very happy I put in the work. Um, having a nice woven pant pattern that I can use now for a long time is gold, <laughs> you know? I had one in the past, but I lost it in one of my moves. So when I lost that pattern I had years ago, I sort of just stopped making pants, you know? <laughs> But now I am pants obsessed. I do want to make loads. Let me know if you want me to film on the next pant I make, how the pocket goes, how I had to put that together and everything, if you find that interesting. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I have to say. Um, I'm linking the pant pattern down below in the description box. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not an affiliate to any pattern company. I think a lot of work went into this. I mean, I was part of the testing group and I know a lot of work went into the pattern to make it you know the best it can be to have the best fit it can have for most people and then that the workbook is provided is an extra bonus there's also like a little video on how to do the invisible zippers and a blind hem and there's all sorts of little bonuses in the pattern that i think are really interesting so yeah that is my duet pants expect to see more of these in the future um, I think now I, I sort of know my anatomy down below much better than I used to and that is awesome. Let me know what your pants struggles have been. Um, I think pants are so awesome to tackle because it's such a staple, you know. If you can get them to fit you, I think the work is worth it totally. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. So you don't miss a sewing and fit tip with me. <laughs> Bye, have fun.